Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about how to become an efficient developer. Well, this is a question that I have been getting quite a lot on my Instagram, so I decided to make a quick video about it. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing my personal tips that have helped me become a more efficient developer and more productive at work. So, without any further ado, let's roll the intro and I'll meet you on the other side of the video. By the way, if you're wondering why these shades, I personally feel that I am very camera shy and these shades have been helping me develop a much more better camera presence so that's why I have been wearing these shades and I have decided to shoot a couple of videos in this so uh, I'm just trying to experiment and let's see where this goes but without any further ado let's roll the intro and I'll meet you on the other side of the video. So the first tip that I'd like to share to increase your developer productivity is to start using keyboard driven programming. Now the idea behind this approach is pretty simple and that is to use keyboard as often as possible and reduce the usage of mouse to a minimum. Well, if you notice almost all of the softwares provide you with some kind of shortcuts that you can use on a daily basis to save a lot of time. And these shortcuts are specially designed for you to enhance your productivity when using a keyboard. Well, let's consider this example. You are using an IDE and you want to create a file. So if you're using your keyboard along with the mouse, you would need to take your hand off the keyboard, place it on the mouse, go to the files menu and then create a new file. But if you use the keyboard driven approach, you can do just that by simply using a shortcut and it will save you a lot of time in the long run. Speaking of which, if you incorporate this keyboard driven approach along with the terminal, I can guarantee you that you will be saving tons of time and you would not need to use mouse in the first place because let's face it, terminal is a very powerful tool in itself and if you know how to use the terminal correctly, you will be guaranteed to save a lot of time and become much more efficient while development. Now personally this is my favorite tip and I use it on a daily basis to save around one to one and a half hour on a daily basis. So with so much being on my plate, saving one to one and a half hour of time daily just by using some terminal along with the keyboard driven approach seems like a great deal to me. That is why this is my number one tip that I'd like to share so that you can increase your developer productivity. Also, I use a 60% mechanical keyboard because it has some added shortcuts and by no means I am not encouraging you to buy a new keyboard. You can just get hold of the keyboard you are currently using to incorporate in your daily life. Even if you want to buy the keyboard that I use, I'll have the link to that keyboard in the description box down below. Go check that out. So as for the second piece of advice that I'd like to give you in order to increase your efficiency is consider buying a monitor. Now this particular piece of advice I haven't seen on the internet very often and people are not talking about it. I honestly do not know why. But if you are one of those who use a monitor, you must be knowing what I'm talking about and you must have seen the difference that it can bring to your life. Personally, I have seen a lot of developers that do not use a monitor. Well, being a developer means that we have so many different screens that are running and so many applications that are running on the screen simultaneously. If you use a monitor, you can place them simultaneously and work on them uh, at the same time. But if you are not using a monitor and every application, all the applications, all the screens are scrammed up into one single screen, then you will be needing to go back and forth between all the different applications, which will not be a very productive thing. So that is why I would highly encourage you that if you are able to afford a monitor, consider buying at least a 27 inch one or an ultra wide one and see the difference that it can bring to your life. I personally use two Acer 32 inch gaming curved monitors and if you'd like to buy those, I will be having the link to them in the description box below as well. But if you want to buy any other monitor, just go check them out and consider buying at least 27 inch or an ultra wide monitor and see the difference that it can bring to your productivity. Well, that was it for the second tip. Moving on to the third one.
So as for my third piece of advice for you to increase your efficiency as a software developer will be to eliminate your distractions. And I know that this is a very redundant tip and everyone seems to talk about it on the internet. But the thing is that that elimination of your distraction is actually really important if you want to get more focused during your work. But the thing is that in those videos, the tips that they have been giving me have not been very helpful for me. So like uh, the tip where you put your phone on DND and forget about it or maybe put your phone in a different room or use website blockers and whatnot. Personally, they have not helped me very much. So that is why in this video, I will be sharing the tip which has benefited me the most and that is investing in a good quality pair of noise cancelling headphones such as the Sony or the Sennheisers because they do a much, much, much better job than the regular headphones when it comes to noise cancellations. Also, I was not really a believer in this but music definitely helps increase your focus and eliminate your distractions. Now, I read about this somewhere that listening to music while working can increase your focus. So I wanted to give it a try and I did. But I am, since I am a rock and hip hop kind of guy, I used to listen to the music that I love, such as Backstreet Boys and ACDC. But to be honest, I will give you this advice that you should not listen to the music that you love because that will distract you much further than they will help you focus. So you should be listening to ambient or the concentration music or deep focus playlists. They are all over the internet. You can find them for free. So the tip is that you should be listening to those kinds of music because they have definitely helped me increase my focus and I can 100% vouch for that. Now, if you pair those kinds of music along with the right pair of noise cancelling headphones, then you will be at a much more deeper focused state and I can definitely guarantee you that. So yeah, that would be my third tip that you should be listening to the right kind of music along with the right kind of noise cancellation headphones. Now, I am no, by no means not encouraging you to go buy an industry level noise cancellation headphone because they, are, they can be crazy expensive. So you can just go ahead and buy the second hand ones or the renewed ones. I personally use a Sennheiser 14.50 BTHD noise cancellation headphones and I will be having the link to them in the description box below. You can go check that out. But if you do not want to buy the new ones, you can definitely go for the second hand ones. They will be working just fine. You just need to incorporate them with the right kind of music such as the ambient or the concentration music playlist or focus music playlist. And you just need to let yourself focus. This tip will help you focus much more and eliminate your distractions at a higher level. So as for the fourth piece of advice in order to become an even more efficient developer is to take breaks at regular intervals. Now I know that this is also a very redundant tip and everyone on the internet seems to talk about it but I will definitely agree that taking breaks at regular intervals is very important because it helps you get recharged and refocused which is uh, very productive in the long run. So the tip here is that I use Pomodoro technique and if you have never heard of it well you do 25 minutes of deep focused session work and then take a five minute break. I have personally tweaked that according to my needs. So I sit down and take a session of 45 to 55 minutes of deep focused work and then take a 10 to 15 minutes break where I get recharged. So I will highly encourage you that if you want to use the Pomodoro technique, find your sweet spot and then take breaks at those intervals. This will definitely help you get more productive in the long run and ultimately make you a more efficient developer. Well, that was it for this video. I hope that you learned something of value. Thank you for your time. Well, if you want more such content, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like. And also do let me know in the comments that what are your productivity tips that you use on a regular basis to increase your efficiency as a software developer.